Hello and welcome to episode 129 of my Worm Unlimited tutorial series. This episode will be on making some trellis. Why not I say? We've made flower pots and flower beds. Let's keep it with the plant life and uh, continue to make some outdoor stuff. Before I get started though, um, I'd like to say Hello, um, Rainstorm, and would you like to say hi to everyone? Hello. Hi, everyone. Rainstorm here. Right, okay. So, I've had uh, Rainstorm's assistance with going over all of this, so let's get started. Time to get trellised. There are four types of trellis um, that you can build. Ivy, grape, rose, and hops. With the hops, it's not been pushed yet to Worm Unlimited. Uh, we're still waiting for that big update. But oh, the, you? the other three trellises you can make. The total materials needed to make a trellis are one seedling of your chosen type of trellis, one small nail and six shafts. It uses the gardening skill and improves like carpentry items. So I'll demonstrate the improving if I can a little bit. I'm going to make an ivy trellis in this episode and we will be showing you the rose and grape trellises when I'm when I'm done. We cannot like I say show you the hop trellis yet as the major update on Worm Online has not pushed to unlimited yet but at some point in 2017 I'm hoping that Rainstorm and me can. You can harvest a trellis with a sickle to do that you right click on the trellis and click harvest. Trellises can only be harvested when they are in the correct season. Ivy is the only trellis that you cannot harvest. So if I right click on the, the ivy one um, after activating my sickle that is, you'll see that you don't get an option to um, interact harvesting wise. and plus it needs to be in season. Okay, so there's some important facts for the trellis. Moving on. Examine... Oh, sorry, what was that, Rainstone? Do they tell you how to get the seedling? For the... To, well, what, for the grape or the rose? The seedlings, how to get the seedlings? Oh, no, that's something I've overlooked. I've been thinking about the sprouts. Very good no, point. It's not sprouts. You don't cut them. You forage for them on the ground, and you'll get seedlings, assorted seedlings. Oh, thank you very much. You know that thought didn't even occur to me. I just assumed it was the sprout, but of course it's not. Because if we look in my pocket, it's a seedling. So it's foraging, is it? Yes. Right. So just to show y'all, you right-click on the tile and there should normally be a nature but because this is all like deeded up by rainstorm and she's protecting her land in this village and i understand why because she's spent many many hours designing it all but normally you just right click on the ground and you know the option to um forage i think is it nature and then the, forage the reason why you can't do this one is because it's a lawn it's been trimmed ah. if you come over to one of the other grass tiles like over here next to the oh i see shop, you yeah. should be able to test that out. Okay. Okay, yeah, nature and forage. And y'all did that back... Wow, you did that in the beginning of 2016, I believe, in that episode. But it was a good one. Okay, back to the trellis. Thank you, Rainstorm. Excellent uh, for pointing that out. Because it all begins with the seedling, of course, and if you don't know how to get the seedling, then there's not a lot of point in me doing all the rest of this. Right, okay, so... Yeah, so examining the trellis will tell you if it is ready to be harvested. With enough skill, of course, hovering the mouse cursor over the trellis, it will also tell you if uh, it can be harvested. The amount of goods harvested depends on your gardening skill level, similarly to foraging, botanizing, milking, and harvesting from trees and bushes. You will get one item below 26 skill. You will get two items at 
26 skill, 3 items at 53 skill and 4 items at level 80 skill for those of you that really want a trellis. Now some notes. There is a limit of 4 trellises able to be planted per tile for harvesting. The seedling's quality determines the chance to create a trellis. Failing to continue will damage the shaft or nails. The shaft attached will determine the trellis's wood type. They cannot be loaded but can be moved or picked up um, using the take keybind. And lastly, improves like carpentry items but uses the gardening skill. Right, okay, enough waffle, let's make one, shall we? So, Rainstorm's allowed me to make one in here on this tile, so that is what we shall do. Okay, to make the trellis, you activate your seedling, right click on your shaft, notice how Rainstorm chose cedar wood, because that will last longer. Not that they're all rot on the deed, will it, Rainstorm? Um, not after the new update, no. <laughs> yeah, so when that big update pushes from Worm, on Lim from Worm Online, uh, items on your deeds will no longer rot. But for now, of course, we don't have the update, so that's why she chose Cedarwood. Anyway, activate the seedling, right click the shaft, create, decoration, ivy trellis. And there we go, 74% chance. So let's do it. And there we go, let's step back. So that's what happens when you create one just on the tile like this. It's freestanding. Now if I right click on it. Oh, I don't get an option to add to the crafting window. That's strange. Why don't you go back into the um, enclosure? Oh, is that? Oh, it's fine because I've stepped out the enclosure. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't see I'd step back through the gate. Right, so add. right click on it. Add to the crafting window and now you can see that I need five more shafts, one small nail. So let's do the nail first and whack that up to four, continue. I suspected failures. Okay, let's do the shafts now and continue. And there we go, look at that, how cool. There is our ivy trellis. Hopefully it won't give us any um, rashes or itches, because ivy's a bit like that, isn't it? But there we go, that's um, creating... Sorry, what was that, Rainstorm? I said no, I don't know of any ivy, well, I guess poison ivy. Poison <laughs> ivy, yeah, that's what I was thinking of. Right, so, is there anything you'd like to add, Rainstorm, to what I said there? Because there's a very high probability that I did forget or miss something out, or completely got it all completely wrong and I'm going completely bonkers. No, actually you did very well. Um, ah. Just the seedling part, and we covered that. Yeah. So, right here we have an example of the grapevine, if you want to get up close. So they oh can yeah, see let's show them the grape. I like the grape one. Uh, the ivy looks nice, but I think I prefer the grape so far. Yeah, I can't wait until we get the update and we can start growing grapes on there. I'm hoping grapes will actually show up on the uh, trellises. Ah, so because I hadn't actually tried harvesting one yet. So what we're saying here is none of the trellises are currently harvestable until the update pushes from Worm Online. Correct. So, Right, okay. Just so everyone's clear on that, don't go trying to harvest your trellis at the moment on Worm Unlimited and turn around and say, that game's just a bleeding idiot because he told me I could harvest it and I can't. Bear in mind, it can't be harvested until we get that big update, which is right due soon. Anyway, sorry, go on, Rainstorm. And this is the rose the rose bush. This is the one, or the rose trellis. This is the one that I said if you push back into a hedge... A rose hedge it'll look like you have roses growing from your hedge oh yes and this is my favorite trellis without doubt because it just looks really 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 nice yeah. and like you and say go on sorry go <laughs> <laughs> I just like the roses on it and um, you'll be able 
to harvest them in season yeah. for hill covers. Yeah, that's really handy because you can fit four on a tile, so that really is great for being able to harvest. You know, you can do it all in a small little area. And I like the effect as well though, because it does make it look like a rose bush. Can, can we go upstairs into the building for a minute? Of course we can. Okay, I want to show them one other thing. Oh, hello Mr. Snowman. Yeah, this is the inside of the garden shop. Yeah, good job on the garden shop. Climb up. Oh, I'm One seeing left. double. Seeing double? Yeah, well, that this NPC down there looks just like your character. Oh. Wait a minute, I'm a redhead. <laughs> She's a blonde. <laughs> oh, I'm seeing double again. I'm seeing quadruple, no, I think. triple. <laughs> <laughs> how you can make it look like the trellis is growing up on the wall. Oh yeah, that is very clever. Very clever. And well done. That's hmm. it. That's what I wanted to show up here. Just yeah. to make it so it kind of looks like it's growing up. Yeah, you've done like a two-story effect of it. Uh-huh. Very clever. So if you want to put it on your second level, you actually have to wait and put it out first before you finish your wall. Oh, okay. So shoot it out to the edge, then you build your wall and it'll look like it's outside. Oh, thank you for that. I'm sure there'll be a lot of people wanting to do that effect because it's another way that they can theme their settlement. Correct. Hmm. Yeah, very good. Now, thank you. It, it only works on the wooden one. If you try doing it on the um, stone, it doesn't seem to work. The stone is too thick. Oh, is it? Oh, but at okay. least you can do it on the wooden ones. Mm. And that's it. That's all I had to show. Well, thank you. Your input, as usual, has been <laughs> exceptional. Um, if you'd like to say your goodbyes, I'll say the outro. Hi, everyone. Have a great day. Thank you, Rainstorm. And thank you for helping me again with this episode. Um, wherever you are in the world... God bless you and keep every single last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.